When Donald Trump was on the campaign trail, he pretended to be an economic populist. And even for the few months of his presidency, he kind of doubled down on that charade. Uh, so I want to refresh everybody's memory about this. Let's take a look at the video. So we're going to turn things around. We're going to turn them around fast. We're not going to lose carrier air conditioning. We're not going to let that happen. When people and countries take our companies and take our jobs, there are going to be consequences. They're not going to take them because we're not going to let carrier come in, make air conditioners in Mexico, sell the air conditioners to us across a very strong border now without consequence. And when we explain to the heads of carrier that here's the story, either stay or if you want to go to Mexico, we wish you a lot of luck. But when you sell your air conditioners, you're going to pay a 35% tax as those air conditioners cross the border. And you know what's going to happen? They're not going to move. They're not going to move. But we're not going to let them just take our companies out, fire everybody. These are people with Carrier for many, many years. We're not going to let it happen. So uh, let me just say right off the bat here, I, you know, that was strong rhetoric. And I think that had a lot to do with why he won the election, because all he had to do was chip away in the Rust Belt, which he did. He was over there talking about how NAFTA was terrible and all your jobs were shipped out. And he really ran a strong economic populist campaign. Now, he was lying, as I'm about to get to in a second. <laughs> but that kind of rhetoric, if he delivered on that kind of stuff, he would have gotten guff, let's say, from the corporate Democrats nonstop. But they would have been wrong because that's, that's protectionism. And we need a lot more of that because we keep outsourcing jobs everywhere else. And they're building sweatshops and all that stuff. But I want to refresh everybody's memory a little further. So The Hill explains here. In December 2016, United Technologies announced it had reached a deal with then-President-elect Trump to keep about 1,000 jobs at a carrier manufacturing plant in Indiana that were slated to move to Mexico. The company also pledged to invest $16 million in the plan. The company received millions of dollars in tax breaks over 10 years to keep the jobs in the U.S. Okay, so, you know, here's where we're starting to see the charade fall apart because he's rolling out the red carpet and basically giving them giant subsidies in order for them to keep the jobs here. Well, it gets even worse. Last July, the plant laid off 300 workers at the Indianapolis facility, and in November, the company announced it would lay off more than 200 additional employees at the plant. Okay, still not done with how bad it gets. Listen to this. United Technologies was recently awarded a $2.5 billion Department of Defense contract with no competition, according to a new report. So, look at what happened here. Trump got together with United Technologies and Carrier behind closed doors and said, listen, how can we make it look like I'm an economic populist while me still giving you whatever you want? So at the end of the day, he made a deal with them where he said, keep the jobs here for a few months, maybe a year, whatever, when nobody's looking, ship the jobs overseas, and I'm gonna give you a giant subsidy a lot of taxpayer money, and then I'm going to give you a $2.5 billion uh, deal with the Pentagon. So this is hose the taxpayers, hose the workers, all while pretending to be an economic populist. So in other words, he's a liar and he's a fake populist. And if the Democrats run an actual populist against Donald Trump, they'll win in a historic landslide. So uh, now I had given Donald Trump a little bit of credit on this when he initially announced the deal. And I'll tell you why I gave him the credit and why I am completely retracting that now. Because you have to be open to facts and not just go with your prejudged opinions. So I don't like Donald Trump, I voted against him, I fought against him tooth and nail during the election. But when he said I'm gonna take away TPP, I was like, well, I like that. Yep, me and, too. And, and he did. And I said, my guess is he'll bring it back That's and he'll right. say he'll negotiate a better deal. And he just said that. Exactly. Okay. So now, but for the moment being, we don't have TPP. If he kept that up, yeah. we'd give him credit. He slipped provisions of it into the renegotiation of NAFTA, though. The worst mm -hmm. provisions of TPP slipped him right back into the renegotiations of NAFTA. Right. Now, in the carrier deal, it, when he, during the transition, when he's about to come into office, uh, they announced a deal where he, he, uh, they said they were gonna keep the 1,000 jobs. But what Trump did that the corporate Democrats and the media complained about was, he said, look, you guys get a lot of government contracts. Maybe I don't give you those government contracts, so you better keep those jobs here. And everybody cried about that. And I was like, no, I like that. Yeah. I want the president to be a tough guy. I wish Obama had done that. Mm -hmm. I want him to say, hey, you want government contracts? Then you better have uh, US 
workers getting the jobs. It's not that complicated. I would do that in a second. Oh, well, technically this, uh, right? But it turns out it was all a lie. So those jobs are now gone. But Carrier got the tax breaks anyway. And they got an extra $16 million that they were supposed to, as part of the deal, invest in the facilities. You know what they did? Their own CEO admits they invested it in automation, which means cutting your jobs. Oh. Okay, so they, I mean, you want to talk oh. about insult to injury? And then they ship your jobs abroad anyway. And then on top of that, Trump gave them a $2.5 billion defense contract, another insult to injury. It was a no bid contract. So no free market, no competition. We have a crooked deal not to keep the workers here. If it was, Kyle and I would be in favor of it. In 100%. fact, we made videos in favor yep, of it, right? right? But no, the deal was you give Trump good marketing, that's a lie. And then later, I'll let you fire anyone you like and give you a multi billion dollar no bid contract on top. That is disgusting. He's a liar, that's what he is, he's a liar. He said repeatedly on the campaign trail, and he tweeted about it nonstop, I'm not gonna cut your social security and Medicare. I'm not gonna cut it, Mike Huckabee stole that from me. He's saying he's not gonna cut it. I told you I'm not gonna cut it first, I said it first. Well, guess what? He already proposed cutting it in the tax bill, they already cut it. So he's just a liar, you need to get that through your head. And the Democrats need to understand, you could easily beat him if you just run a populist in 2020. Yeah, you know what? If you're a progressive, you don't have to lie about those things. And one last thing, you, you've got the Republicans and a terrible right-wing Republican like Donald Trump who uses racism and bigotry and all that stuff, adopting progressive positions to win the election. He doesn't actually do it, but he's at least smart enough yep. to know. And it doesn't take much to know it, just read the polls. They're overwhelmingly, the country's overwhelmingly in favor of those progressive positions. And it, Idiot corporate Democrats. Got to run him. to the right, run to the right. Yeah. Oh my God, we're too progressive. We got to run to the right. And they let him steal progressive positions right from underneath their nose and pretend to be a progressive. And they never even called him out on it. Yep. All they did was like, Trump's a bad guy, Trump's a bad guy. Well, they argued, no, 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 they argued your, your rhetoric is bad about cracking down on corporations for shipping jobs overseas. Oh. When they should have been the ones making the argument, no, we are gonna do protectionism, we are gonna keep your jobs here. So they fall for the trap, they're still falling for it right now. After Hillary Clinton's loss, what did they say? They said, "Oh, Bernie pushed her too far to the left." Oh, that was the problem. <laughs> but, Ber but Bernie was against the TPP, and Hillary was for the TPP, and a hundred other examples I can give you. And it turns out they voted for the candidate who was against TPP and against those trade deals. If you don't go populist left, you will get populist right, and that is the disaster we're living in right now. Fake populist right, but yes. If you want to get the whole Young Turks show every single day, become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join. And once you do, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. Or you might say, I think it's weird. Or you might say, oops. No, that won't be that one. It won't be that one. It'll be great, trust me, tytnetwork.com slash join.